Hello everyone and welcome to a weird little video I've decided to do because I had this problem last night and I couldn't, I googled, I YouTubed, I couldn't find anything to help me except one little comment somebody had made in a Reddit post and that was my lot. So for anyone who has this possibly weird little niche issue, this is how I solved it. I'm sure there's a really, like there's a button somewhere, there's a button screaming at me saying, Sam, press this, but I haven't found it. So this is what I've uh, ended up doing. So my issue, um, <laughs> don't judge me, but I've, I've ended up with three switches. Uh, it's just what's happened. It's not that I'm rich. It's just that I'm stupid. Uh, and, and my son's got, so basically four switches. Originally, it, they were all under the same Nintendo account and I had uh, a physical copy of Animal Crossing and then I downloaded a copy. So I had two copies of Animal Crossing. So one of them had the download and the other one had the physical copy, which was fine until I had the third switch. And then I downloaded the copy onto the third switch and then they couldn't, if the first switch was on, you couldn't use the other switch because Nintendo don't want two people playing the game at once. Nintendo want you to buy another copy. So I did. So I have three copies of Animal Crossing now, two cartridges and a downloaded. The download is on the the owner, I guess, of the um, Nintendo account. So that one's got the downloaded and then the two other switches that are linked to it have a physical cartridge so it can't because otherwise I'd be sitting in my office and it would start asking me to wait while it checked if the other switch was on. And the trouble with my office is it's just that little bit too far away from the house and the Wi-Fi doesn't travel. I have a physical cable, but that's in the computers. So I'd have to sit here or I'd have to run back to the house, turn the game on, say, look, I'm not playing the other game, come back here. And I certainly couldn't visit Serenity, my original island. So I bought the three games. Anyway, everything was fine and they would turn on without Wi-Fi and they wouldn't have to check and everything was OK. Then the wonderful DLC came out and I downloaded it and then I downloaded it onto the other two. And all of a sudden, none of them could visit each other because they're all on the same Nintendo account. And I'm sure there's a way of doing it. I'm sure you can go online or, or something, but it was just winding me up and having to sit here and hope it would pick up Wi-Fi enough to turn on or I'd have to run back to the house anyway it's winding me up so I wanted to get their own account yes I'm paying for three accounts now uh, and I wanted them to be the the island um island representative you can't change the island representative every time I googled there is no way of doing it there is one way and it, it means you're not losing. We don't lose Monty. We don't lose Decker. I've already done this on Balloon Bay after spending hours moving stuff off the island in case I had to wipe it to do this. But essentially, this is the new account up here, Monty. Monty and Decker have their own accounts. They have their own accounts, which is never... They have their own email. Monty and Decker have their own emails now. This is what my life has become. This is who I am now. My characters have an email. Anyway, they have their own emails. They have their own accounts, Nintendo accounts. So everything is now separate. The trouble is Samioni, which is my original one, is still the island representative. So basically, if I wipe Samioni, like completely, if I wipe it, I could just wipe the, the, the uh, game saves. But why have her on this? This is Monty's switch now. So I'll just wipe her. Then she will do, then, um, right, okay. I wipe her, Samioni, the user. But Monty remains there, unplayable because no one's picked up that controller. No one's decided to play her, but the player remains. So I then sign on as Monty. And the game will say, look, we have this rogue character. Would you like to be them or start a new character? So if I choose to be Monty, I will be the island representative on this. Right. Did that make sense? Because I'm about to do it. What I'm going to do also is because I'm a little scared, just just a tad scared that if I wipe Samioni, 
the data now that it should be fine just wiping this user off and then starting Animal Crossing with Monty. And then the game should say, look, we've got this pl this uh, character. Do you want to play it? But this is long winded, isn't it? I'm scared. So what I did on the other island, I put I, another uh, user. We're just going to we're just going to create a new user. Uh, let's have a squid. Why not? Uh, let's go Bob. Bob, you can always trust a Bob, I, I find. Hopefully you can trust a Bob to disappear once I'm done with him. Um, OK, there you go. So we've got another user. No, we are not signing in and linking. Bob is gone as soon as we can. Right. So if I start under Bob and stick him on there and go through all the rigmarole and put my tent down and all of that, maybe if I don't put my tent down. No, I have to put my tent down to start it properly. We'll stick a tent down. There's another way of wiping the tent. So we could, I'll do that later. You could actually do this if you wanted a whole. This is something else I was thinking. If you wanted a whole campsite with a load of tents, you could just stick them down with loads of and then just wipe them off. The tents obviously remain, but you can get rid of the tents. Um, so, OK, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go through all the Hello Tom Nook business and come back. But essentially, we're starting it. See, look, look, I'm going to have to run back to the house now to actually start the game. This is ridiculous. Oh, shut up. OK, the short lived Bob is now on my beach and I hate it again. You may not need to put a Bob on your island. You may just be able to wipe the other player and the game saves save. Probably, but I am too scared to take that risk. So I'm sticking Bob on here. And as soon as we get the, the actual Monty on there, we can wipe Bob, don't tell him. Right, okay, so now I should be able to wipe the Samioni user account. Because if I wipe the... The uh, game save, bang goes the island. But if I wipe her, I'm sorry, Samioni. Um, she's she's on the other switch. She's fine. But if I wipe her, the game save should stay. If you're not seeing this video, I cocked it up, and we'll we'll just have another volcano, and and Monty will have to start again. But I've got a couple of villagers I don't want to lose, and I've built so much, and I have plans for a swamp anyway. And breathe. We're deleting this user. There's nothing else really on. There's nothing on this one. There's nothing else on this one. So uh, unable to connect. I have to go back in the house again, don't I? I have to go back in the house. Just just imagine you can see me deleting this. This plat. just hang on, hang on. Right. The accounts on there. I've downloaded the blinking DLC. So when I start it under our new Monty user, it should ask me if I want to start playing with As Monty. If not, you're not going to see this and there's a volcano. Currently, there is existing resident data for Rontopolis. Uh, uh, Nintendo Switch is not linked to a user account. I do not want to start fresh. I want to use the existing data, please. Currently, there's only one resident whose data is not linked. Monty! Oh! Right, yes, Monty. The Nintendo account linked to this user was a different one from before. I know. Any features at the end? That's fine. Do you want to start playing as Monty? Oh, yes. I'm not going to touch anything. Ah, oh, here we go. You will now start playing as Monty. So, yeah, there you go. The island is still there. Solil is there. There we go. So it is the same character. Still the island representative. Oh, yes, you're going to have to go through all of this again. The um home, her happy home paradise thing. Oh, I'm sighing with relief. Yeah, so it's a different user, basically. So I changed the user. The character remains the same. Whether the Bob situation was needed i don't know but you can now go and wipe the save if you don't if you just wipe the user bob him and his tent will remain like a like a specter in the night but if you go and first wipe his save data on animal crossing and then get rid of him if you so wish you may want a bob 
I don't know if you want a bob, have a bob. But then his tent will be gone. So that's it really that that's that's my long-winded winded video i shall have to go and, and redo i guess everything monzi did before but that's all right oh that was actually the cool resident app so has the oh actually no it should be if we can go to work then the dlc uh save would have saved as well hi can i go to work there you go i can go to work that means that that saves as well right so long-winded video to how to do this okay step one possibly completely unneeded probably completely unneeded but the bob step is you just stick another person another villager on your island just in case i was terrified it would just wipe if there was nobody on there but i don't think that's going to happen so step two probably step one is you um wipe your original user and it does mean wiping that user if you've got another nintendo account or if you're getting somebody else's switch and you really like their island and you want to keep it this is for you but it is quite niche to my problems <laughs> but you wipe the original user and they're now gone and monty is just free to do whatever she wants because nobody is controlling her that is a terrifying idea step three is doing unless you've already done it putting on your new user link your nintendo thing make sure you've got the game downloaded or a cartridge and yes you'll need the dlc and then signing in with this new user that you want to use and you sign in and it should give you the option to do either start afresh which i think pretty means wiping the island i'm too terrified to try that or would you like to take over Monty or whoever the person is? And then the island representative is the same, but it's a new user controlling the island representative. So there you go. That is your step. Possibly you don't need a bob. Possibly you just wipe the original user without getting rid of this game save and then start with your new user all signed up under a different account, different email. Monty has her own email now. I can't believe I've done that, but that's my life. And you sign in and say, yes, I would like to take over the character and the island. That's it. Oh, that, that was a rigmarole. That took me ages. I'm exhausted and it's only nine in the morning. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if this was any help to anyone. And also, if you do know a way easier, way easier way of doing this, Put it in the comment down below but i'm gonna ignore it because i'm too i just know i'll cry i'll cry but if you have any useful tips for anybody else watching this video give it to them please because the thought of losing your island when you put so much effort into it is just horrible but they can now visit each other they can all visit each other and we can continue with our weird storyline and if you would like to see the storyline please feel free to go and see the other videos but anyway i'm off thank you very much for watching Oh, please like and subscribe and all of that business and I will see you hopefully next time for them all visiting each other and everything being fine. Bye!